take on their plans and your respond to those criticisms and whether or not you have an intention to, to travel to those countries? Um, well, at some point, probably uh, travel will be warranted. Uh, we're, we've been in conversations with both, with their teams on this subject. Uh, we're not at a place where we feel like we're prepared to, uh, you know, make the journey because there is a sense that there may be something concrete that we can define. But I think there may be chances of it. I listened to President Putin today. I thought he was uh, pretty rational and put some decent visionary thoughts on about things we might want to be looking at and cooperating together. And he talked about that possibility. So just as with China, where we found a way to try to at least create this chain, this line of communication, um, and, and where we have a long way to go, but, but it's a beginning. And that's the nature of diplomacy. But I think that, uh, uh, I, I think that uh, we're in a place where um, we will have the ability uh, to be able to create enough progress uh, with other countries that those countries are going to come along too. And, and I sense from both of them. I, I, some of the comments that President Bolsonaro made today surprised me for their, you know, their, that, 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 that's pretty good. That works if you do those things. The question is, will they do them? And the question is, what's the follow through and enforcement? Now, one of the things you ought to take note of is this program, the TRACE program, which Al Gore and different entities have been involved in, which is now the satellite capacity to measure in real time what the footprint is of corporations or, or countries all around the world. And, and so there's no hiding anymore. And, and there's going to be real time tracking. And that's one of the things that will come out of Glasgow, I think, is sort of what's the accountability structure going to be here for countries to be able to move. So I think that, uh, you know, Russia has reduced some emissions. They're, their economy is very different from Mars and a lot of people on the planet. Uh, it's mostly gas-based, as we know. Uh, that presents challenges for them going forward. So I think there's room to hopefully have a discussion about this, and, and we'll see if we can find some common ground. Uh, I think that's the you know, most important summary of what I heard in terms of their comments today. 